we in here. We in here. We in here. Again. Because we love bringing y'all all the good content. All of it. I love it when y'all watch us in all our ignorance. Because we is ignorant now. Mm-hmm. And we mm-hmm. love that. That y'all watch our ignorance. So, ma'am. Sir. How are you? I'm well. Really? Mm-hmm. She's well. And yourself? I ain't gonna count. Nigga been going through it, boy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm big tired. Big tired. Nigga. Like I said. Hit that for me, fam. What? Oh. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Like I said, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, yeah, y'all favorite tired parents are tired still. We never recovered from the uh, whole, the whole uh, wedding. You know, y'all got to see y'all. Uh, y'all got to see y'all nephew. We were tired for that wedding. Don't act like that. Hold on. That's true. Y'all nephew was on the dance floor cutting up. Um, we gonna put we gonna put it up there so y'all can see it. But see, y'all problem is y'all probably ain't gonna see it. Cause you ain't never, you ain't even following us on the Instagram. That's your problem mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. You did me life wrong. Or on TikTok. Oh, that's your problem. Mm-mm. That's your problem. So I bought the little uh, ice ball mold thing today. I'm proud of it. I'm really proud of it. I love it. It's amazing. So. You see, you so simple. I'm very simple. She can buy me like a bag of rocks, and I'm probably gonna be like, "That's what's up," you know what I'm saying? Because I'm childish. It don't take a lot. It don't take a lot. But anyway, so guys, I know y'all not already heard about everybody's favorite baby, the baby, and his side chick or girlfriend or. Whatever they may be at this time, I think like right now they ain't nothing but like whatever she was at the time, not sure. Danny Lee, Lay. Lay, Lee. Is it Lee or Lay? I don't know. I'll be saying Danny Lay. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, all day on Instagram today. I mean, he disrespecting her. She disrespected him. He files. He put, then he, he filed charges against her for simple assault. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! So yeah, there was that today. Uh, I'm beyond which. I'm beyond which. I'm beyond which. Uh, dudes do that. Y'all saw the pictures. They all video kissing on each other, hugging, loving each other, things of that nature. I mean, dudes do stuff like that. It's it's, it's do do whatever you got to do to get the butt. You know. Do what you got to do to get that butt. And if you got to kiss on her a couple of times and be in a couple of videos, do what you got to do to get that butt, man. That's what dudes do. Do whatever you can for that butt. Now, I don't condone said, uh, I don't condone said activity. Now, a younger me, I did. I, I would I would condone those activities because guess what? It would have got you the butt. It would have got me that butt. It would have got me mad, but G. But see, that's the thing. I'm, my life skintiness, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm a very cuddly person, so I probably would have been like, I probably would have did it. Anyway. That wasn't you. I was cuddly, G. I'm saying, but the, with nah. all that stuff, they don't, yeah. that ain't your thing. Though. Yeah, like putting, putting myself out there. <laughs> Man, it must you, my side chick. Now, I'm not that mean. I ain't gonna tell her she my side chick on the internet. That's stupid. That's that's me. You don't put her out there. But how would you feel about that? Little side note: This episode's whiskey. It's old granddad. <sighs> I'm gonna see what granddad got cooked up in this bit. But granddad give you a hundred proof. Oh, that ain't bad though. The Knob Creek was one twenty. And it was this fresh. is um fifty percent alcohol per volume. Cap. She didn't cap. Mm. 
this might hurt a little bit. Um, might I don't know, but uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I see a lot I of mean, people. I, I I didn't, I didn't go into like looking at the details of what they were arguing about and everything that was said. I mean. It sounds like some personal stuff, some stuff that they could have called a text to each other about. They were sitting right there up on each other. Like, literally. They was in the bed with each other. Then they got out of bed. Then he was in the kitchen. And she came in the kitchen. And they got to argue. They, oh, you on live. So, yeah, anywho, it sounds like some, some stuff that they wanted people in their business. So. So, y'all got to stop that. Don't be putting your business out there and be like, everybody in my business. Stop. No, you are the next season of Love and Hip Hop, and I need you to go ahead and renew for season two. I ain't going to lie, though. Y'all be with these toxic women, these toxic men. I don't like it, but I love to watch the drama. I be like, she need to leave him. You know what I'm saying? Or he need to leave her, but keep fighting. Like I'm one of the, I'm one of the people I'm like one of them one of the people to say stop, but keep going just a little bit further. <laughs> you you look like it hurt. Did it hurt you? Oh goddamn! It's old man strength. <laughs> 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 President style, Jesus Christ! Oh granddad, you okay? He, they're like one of them granddaddies from the twenties. That's a granddad. Don't, don't he don't love you. <laughs> he beats you. Jeez, us is tough. I ain't gonna lie. Who this hit hard? Man, my ass reflow about that go feel like. But I'm gonna keep drinking because you know what I'm saying. I ain't no weak nigga though. You know what I'm saying. I'm strong. God damn. Granddaddy, he one of the dust bowl for him. God damn. That granddad right there went through it. Double D like this. He went, he, he went through it. Oh, I'm going to give this a four. Heavy. I mean, maybe if I put, of course, if I do my signature, put some coke over it, maybe it'll like knock it down. But I'm like, like I said, this. I don't even what, what was the granddaddy who hurt you? Right. Uh, Ooh, what you give it? Uh, um, yeah, that's a two for me, Joe. Granddad, a uh, granddaddy gonna have your stomach he hurt. He is aggressive. Granddaddy gonna have your stomach hurt in the morning. Do granddaddy a drunk and he gonna cuss you out and call you everything up under the sun? Mm -hmm. I don't like my granddaddy's like that. I like my granddaddy's nice. My granddaddy's nice. He is. He, he got better. <laughs> he used to be, you know, say it's just hard. Now his his old age, he all, you know, regular. You see the he with the other grandkids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He all dice. Mm -hmm. yeah, he ain't been held in Jackson and stuff. Right. Like this hill. That's not you. You don't do that. But, but uh, this granddad. Yeah, right this granddad. That granddad right there. He. He had a rough life. He he was in the war. <laughs> Shit, it was fucking ten. <laughs> That's stories. It got out. I had to be a farmer <laughs> and go through the Great Depression. And a dust bowl all at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up with some hair on my chest tomorrow. Oh, God damn. That ain't a good look. Not for me, it's not. Exactly. <laughs> Don't drink no more. Yeah. You, you probably, that, that might be some, so you might be able to put that in the tank, but I don't know. That rough right that there. Rough. I'm going to keep drinking because like I said, man. I ain't weak, so. Mm. Don't recommend it. Don't. This is something I'm gonna let that little ball uh, I'm gonna water that down. I'm gonna come back to it by the end of the episode and see what it's talking about. Let, let that. Anyway, y'all. Uh, so. That little ball. Get but on this small off. 
Back to the baby, real quick. Mm -hmm. Somebody made this joke. Now, I will say this. Though. Some good memes have come out of this, and some oh, good statuses absolutely. have come out of it. Somebody said, somebody said, oh, I forget. It was funny. I'm going to have to find it. But somebody, somebody was like, uh, it's not the fact that it's not the fact that she's still there. It's the fact that she's still there after being openly disrespected. Like, at some point, you got to take yourself out the whole so equation. That means that they probably try to give it a couple weeks. You'll see them back here. Cooling. Mm -hmm. Somebody else spot a picture. Oh, uh, ain't this the baby couch? Ain't this the baby bed that you done took this selfie in? Somebody going to see it. Bust down. Uh, yeah, I, look, man, I get it. Arguing is healthy. It's healthy it is, in a relationship. It's a, it's a healthy part of your relationship. I think, I think, then I think a lot of times, you know, if you're young and you have money, you have a undeveloped sense of emotion. You know what I'm saying? Correct. So you will because say Because you things. feel like you can just buy, buy off, buy people off, or mm -hmm. because you got money, you can. Well, and it's not even just the, um, it's not like a persona or something that they developed. That's what the world has, Put on has dictated. Yeah. It's like people with money can pretty much say or do and get away with. Anything. Pretty much. I so just. The, I, the I rich can treat people less than like they're less than. <laughs> so. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I think I think I, I think I was I wasn't supposed to be rich because you know what I'm saying. Like, am I saying that I would treat people like that? No. Mm -mm. What I am saying is I would treat people like that that deserve to be treated like that. Uh, no, I think. But here's the thing: who deserves to be treated like that? Everybody's human at the end of the day. That's you true. ain't better than them, and they ain't better than you. No, so no, you don't not. need to be treating nobody like that. But first of all, if you gonna talk, you can't. You just don't. First of all, don't talk to me like that. Don't you can't just come up on me. I'm sitting somewhere, being myself, right? I'm. This is me. Well, see, first of all, well, also too, she must feel mighty comfortable enough to talk to him any kind of way. Okay, you got a point. I was just relating it to regular people, like if I'm sitting on the street I mean, somewhere. I don't, yeah, but who's just gonna come up on you and just start? There are Cairns in the wild, Ann. Oh, yeah. Cairns yeah. are in the wild. And I, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, you got to let them know. Mm -mm. The most beautiful way to uh, to shut down a Cairn in the wild is not by what you say, but what you do. So oh. Cairn in the wild come up, um, especially like y'all outside or something, and she want to say something about you just being young and black and ghetto and you got locks and you're probably unprofessional and all of this stuff. Ghetto, uh huh. And then what you do is you be like, you know what, I am. I'm so unprofessional. And then you drive off in your $200,000 car. That's what you <laughs> Let me, I'm so unprofessional. Start drying your ass with $100 bills. Man. I'm so unprofessional. In the new 2026 Corvette <laughs> that you can't never get. Look. Like, know, yeah, that's not You know what would really, <laughs> really be funny? You know what really be funny? They run like, they run up on you. <laughs> like, just start talking. Like, oh, you're homeless. Here is a gift on it all. That'll be messed up. It'll be funny. That would be hilarious. It'd be f hilarious. But. Ladies and gentlemen, that's one reason why I'm not rich, because I would start on a lot of things and a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's jump God to God don't like ugly. He don't. He It'll don't. And I'm going to be real ugly. ugly. Ooh, I'm going to be ugly. I'm going to be ugly. Like babies when they first come out, all of them potatoes. All of them ugly. All babies. That's my theory. All potatoes. All babies are potatoes until three months. So stop asking baby, people who they baby look like. Potato. Some people, baby, do come out looking like somebody. An uh, overdeveloped potato. That's what they look like. Now, not my baby. That's different. 
Not my baby. <laughs> my baby look like amazing. So that's your fault. And I say so what I said. told everybody that their babies look like potatoes, but our babies look looked amazing. I didn't say that all the way. I'm just saying. That's I said, exactly. I didn't say they said. babies. I said babies. Who knows what babies? Babies include they babies. Just because you say baby, you can see, that's your problem. You generalize babies there. You something else. Something else. I can't believe this. Don't make me get granddad on you. <laughs> Go beat your ass. Into who? Anyway, y'all. Into the topic for the night. Um, so, there was this morning... It was like listening to the radio. On the radio. And there was a question posed. I need you to go and retrieve said question. I'm glad I, because I'm going to leave my phone over there on that thing over there. Even even if you did, you're going to have to go get it. That was dead. You, you, got, you better have telekinesis. Well, we got, we're going to stay, stay, uh, sit here and stare at each other then. We have a five staring contest. I'm gonna win, cause guess who that nigga? Me. No, I have big hair. Hey, that's your baby. I had big too, so you know mm-hmm. we got that from. He a dad. That's why he cute. You like his dad? And say y'all can say what y'all want. By the way, oh, he look like his mom. No, he don't. Y'all like. Anyway, why are you looking at me crazy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to know if you're getting uh, cheated okay. on? Yeah. Would, would you want to know? So, starting with that, would you want to know? Would I want to know? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, I want to know. Mm-hmm. But see, thing is, I want to know, but I need hard evidence. I need like pictures. I need pictures at least. Take it anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I need hard evidence, pictures, something. So when I, you know, what I'm saying, when I come home and walk and walk and walk somebody down, you know what I'm saying. I need to have. I need to give them like legit. Who would do? Mm. Okay. Who would, what's all this? You know what I'm saying? See, then I'm justified. I'm not going to run a fade with you because that's crazy. Why would I do that? You don't hit, don't hit women. Put them out. It's easier. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Put them out. Would you want to know? Um, yes, I would. I would want to know. Um, but like you said, I I would definitely need some concrete evidence. Also, I think the level of evidence depends on that is required depends on who it's coming from. Mm. So like, uh, I posed this question earlier. Uh, so if you de- you you determine yes, you do want to know. Um. Does it change depending on who is telling you? Like, do you believe this person ran off or what type of evidence is needed based mm. off of what person is telling you? So, prime example, like, if your best friend is telling you, the girl cheating on you, man, are you just taking this word for it versus a stranger that they say, hey, man, your girl gave me her number and... When I looked up on social media, I saw pictures with you. Mm. I f- like, would you, with with his word, just random blow Joe be good <laughs> enough? Blow Joe? Nah. Nah, that wouldn't be enough for me. Like, like I said, I need concrete. I need concrete. So, from everybody or just from, um, or just from random guy? Random guy, 
I just, I need a lot. I need a lot. I need a life from random dude. I need a lot. So like photographic or text receipts or something like and that? See, with text receipts, I guess because I'm a deep thinker. I'm a super deep thinker. So like, you can be like, oh yeah, this is, this is your, this is your, your significant other. But at the same time, how do I know that that's coming from that number? Easily, when I tell you easily, go in there, take that number. Like if they have it saved, I say it like that. If you got it saved in there. You just saved up under like a name, like girl from the club. How do I know that that's my right. girl? Or like, let's say, you. Call, okay. But what if it's the number? If oh, so you saying they can save the number, but save the number under. Just like your name. Un, yeah. Yeah. Like, you could do that. So, like, I just, I'm a, like I said, I'm a thinker. So, like, so I even you Even you thinking something like that could possibly be. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, best friend. Best friend say, hey, I saw your girl. I hooked up on another nigga. You got a picture. So you still want I need some evidence. type of evidence, I need evidence, even coming from best friend. I need evidence, just in general. Not saying that I don't believe them, but I need evidence. Because the thing is that if I'm going to walk down on somebody, if I'm going to accuse you or something, if I'm going to walk you down, I'm going to need something to back me up. Can't just don't, you, you don't, put it like this. You don't get a gun and don't buy bullets. Am I right or am I wrong? Okay. If you're going to shoot it, you can't just click, click, click. You got to load it, cut. Fall, fall, fall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> still ain't it. Granddad's still mad right there. I'm gonna let him get. Granddad gonna be mad all night, big dog. Mm, I'm gonna let him uh, let him work his way down some more. But uh, my own count of water down just then. It. And it's not enough because you still, your face still crumpled up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so, okay. So, um, well, it was another part. What was the rest oh. of the stuff? Let's see. Uh, <coughs> like, which one are you? Like, 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 are you... The one that wants to know or the one that don't want to yeah, know. Yeah, we did that part. Yeah. Then we did that part. Oh, um, uh, like the scenario of him saying, of him talking about it was a dude that would go to work, that lived in his apartment complex, that would go to work, and then another dude would come over mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So you now is like the third party. Are you, would, are you seeing that? Seeing what? Oh. So now, if you were the third party, just from the outside looking in, mm. like you see, you see the neighbor lady, you know, you see her husband leave every day, but then 30 minutes later, another dude pull up. Pull in there. You say it though? All right, I'm beyond with, I ain't gonna say nothing, because I see, the internet has ruined me. The internet has ruined me. When I mean ruined me, it's ruined me. It's some dudes out there that that's they, that's, that's they style. You know what I'm saying? That they might get off on the fact that they know that they want to cheating on them. Or, you know, he probably got cameras set up in the house. And he don't do nothing but sit up and watch the cameras all day. And watch his old lady getting beat down. You know, and that thing. I don't. There's people out here that I like that. That's that's they. That's where that's they, they fall on the on the spectrum. That's they kink, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I have nothing against those people. I'm proud of you. Takes a lot. Takes a lot. That just ain't my style. But what I tell now, cause see, then he might mess around and get mad at me that I got to fight him in the parking lot. You see what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be fighting people in the parking lot. I'm too. I'm, I'm third four. So you just gonna watch that man and woman cheat on him? Oh no, I'm not gonna watch. I'm going to my house. Play but me. you know that that's what's happening. I mean, that man might better be over there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's her dude. Like, I ain't never seen him on the balcony. Him busting it down on the balcony. Okay. 
they might just be in there, you know what I'm saying, talking or something. Or they might be in there, you know what I'm saying, doing having a prayer meeting. Or he might be a therapist or mm-hmm. something like that. the shit out that ass. Did you say therapizing? <laughs> This nigga, this nigga <laughs> made up whole therapizing. I'm using that. Mm-hmm. I'm using that. Tomorrow, I'm going to make a way to use that. Even, even if I got to be in the house by myself, I'm using it. Watch me. What about you, Big Dog? To which one? What question? What part? Like, both of them. You, are, no, you already said the first part. Like, mm-hmm. if you seen your like neighbor. If I seen neighbor and I seen... She going out to work, and then some chick pulling up. Yeah. Um. Wait, real quick. It's a stipulation to man. Okay. Stipulation to man. Now, if you know what I'm saying, if the dude that's coming in after the after the after the dude go to work after the husband leave after the husband leave the dude come in, you know what I'm saying, and then they, like he he like not nice. He like mean to me. Oh, I'm telling on them niggas. <laughs> I'm telling on his ass. Telling on his ass. You okay, so me. what you mean? He mean to you, baby. Like, bruh. Like, okay. If I was, you know what I'm saying? If, so he, like, he parked in front of the house or something. Like, you tell him, hey, like. Like, you park, like, you, let's say we stay in the apartment. Uh-huh. And you, you park in my parking spot. Uh-huh. Hey, bruh, can you move your car? And he be like, nah, nigga. <laughs> Bet. So you gonna snitch. I'm gonna get this man tag number and everything, boy. I'm gonna get him man the color car he drive, tag number, what his rims look like, what he look like. I'm gonna take pictures of this man, bruh. So you say you gonna be petty? <laughs> don't let me be a homeowner neither. You park in front of my house, and I be like, hey, bruh, don't park in front of my house. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my old lady to come home. She thinks somebody up in here. Then I get beat up. You see what I'm saying? And he be like, man, bro, that's your problem. Bet. Bet. You know what? I'm going to be so petty. I'm going to tell old dude, hey, park your car in my garage. With the hood, we'll tell, hey, park your car in my garage. We'll see Wait right 30 here. minutes and then run up. And I'm going to go with him, too. We do. I done made a friend. You going to film it for world stuff? I'm going to fight, too. Tell me that. <laughs> you going to stop this nigga out for parking in front of your yeah. And he was mean to me. <laughs> Disrespecting me. <laughs> the thing is, you he was mean to me. <laughs> he was, man. You are not 10. Hurt my feelings. Just saying, man. Like, you know, like, bro, you gotta have manners. You yeah. are not 10. And? And? How did that hurt your feelings? Cause, bro, you just, you, first of all, you disrespected my house, bro. That's the one you pawed in front of my house, bro. Then he asked. Y'all hear this? Br- my eye black. Is my eye black? Did you? T- Did you punch yourself in the face? No. I do not hit my wife before is y'all my, get upset. Is my makeup running now? I, I can't tell. Does you know, this eye look like a raccoon? Nah. He just got me over here looking crazy as hell. Uh, you were laughing at me about being ten, so whatever. But anyway, like I was what saying. Am I- Boss on me in so the shades. They thought I had a lazy eye. So oh. you just over here letting me look? <laughs> you got to lean back, cool. It like, you got First of all, I can't see nothing because I ain't got on my glasses. Y'all, I ain't got on my glasses, so it's like. It's bright. <laughs> that way. I feel like I'm squinting. You are. <laughs> One of your eyes is squinting harder than all of them. That's why I look like this. <laughs> I love you. Anyway, he was being mean to me. And so just because of that, you go. Man. Okay. I don't think people, like, people don't understand. You have to be nice to everybody because that's an ecosystem. You a new person in the ecosystem. So get what you need to do. You need to come in, sock so the hell saying, down. So you saying that guy need to be extra nice? Yes. If you're going to park in front of my house, give me two dollars. Tell, tell me go get some lunch. Make me feel good. Speak something. Talk. So pretty much it sound like you're charging that man to cheat. 
I mean, I mean he, she can't be the only one, you know what I'm saying, getting a dub about this. I want a dub, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, that man going out there, working his, working his two hard jobs, you know what I'm saying, putting them kids through private school. You know what I'm saying? I done gave the man a whole life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> putting them kids through private school, you know what I'm saying? And then she out here, thotting and bopping. And then he, then the dude got the audacity to park in front of my house. She should have told him. Don't park in front of your house. And if you do, give him $200 and be nice to him. I'm running a business here. This, this, this mortgage ain't going to pay itself. Don't let Trey catch y'all cheating. Don't be mean to Trey if you cheat. Because I need, I need that money. Like, I feel like it's different. But you stole on yourself, boy. <laughs> Did you run a fade with the okay, Power Rangers or something? I'm going to just do the rest of the episode like this. Okay. So what now? You might well did it right here. So what? <laughs> like, you got no app, right? Anyway. What about you, Charlotte? Like, you just, yeah. I'm going to just open it up a little bit low to match the other side. Okay. Actually, now that would look too wide open. No, it don't look mm -hmm. even. No, it don't. Man, so I've been had laser eye this whole time, and you ain't tell me. Thought you knew. Wow. <laughs> anyway, what you say, Sean? Think you know somebody? <laughs> <clears throat> but um. Oh, so and I he see and he not invited to my birthday party, and I'm having a bounce house. Okay. All right. Okay. He okay. Been, he should have been nice. He don't get no cake. He's stupid. Anywho, um, I if I did say something, it's gonna it's gonna have to be anonymous. You gonna write a note? I put it on old dude car. Yep, and write a note say, "Hey, girl out here bopping him. She out here topping and bopping. Topping and bopping." Popping and popping, y'all. Yeah, I do. I do it anonymous because I don't want to bring, get brought up into it. Cause then, I mean, she. I don't know if she crazy or not. She might be like, "Oh, bitch, you told on me." Pop, pop, pop. And then they say, "You know, I'm over there leaking." While they getting back together, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't reconcile. <laughs> Your ass over there bleeding out. And I got a baby, so. Mm -mm. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Cause get what? I'm gonna come out the house too. Five, five, I'm taking care about that. You know what I'm saying? Tactically, you know what I'm saying? You don't see me come out the door like this. Right? Swing on. Pop, pop, jump, woo style, jump, do the little shoot. And then you're going to see doors. But yeah, I don't <laughs> think I would. Uh, it, like I said, so otherwise, I wouldn't say anything unless I could do it potentially anonymously. So, yeah. That's about all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna stick my neck out there on the line for you and your relationship because here's the thing. After I tell, if y'all do reconcile it, now y'all finna be looking at me with the stank face every time we outside. And get what you do, get what you do. You look back at them and say, run the fade in. And I ain't just, and then, but see then that's gonna create now neighbor animosity. You gonna be calling the police on me just because we out here mowing the yard. But see, this is the thing though. If now I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. If you beat your neighbor up, <laughs> y'all homeowners remember this, man. Y'all homeowners remember this. Yes, because my legs about to lock up like a box shaver. On the highway. The granddaddy the dehydrated. Granddaddy dehydrated me over here. I'm sweating and I'm about to die. But anyway, uh, so, like I said, homeowners remember this right here now. If you beat your neighbor up in Mortal Kombat, like not the game, but like real hands, like you, you, you run a fade with them and you win, you own. Day house. Nah, you own like two two thirds of their property. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just waiting. You know what so I'm saying? So they got a better backyard. Get a piece of their backyard. 
That's just, that's, that's just. You that's, can iron that fire pit. Get it. Net. Like mm-hmm. you get to get stuff out their house. You can you can walk in their house and stuff and just get stuff. If they you like that screened in back porch. Steal it. Mine now. Steal it. Fight them. Steal it. That's I know what y'all think. Rules. That's just how it works. That's why I did, like, boy. When I tell you, I can't wait. I just want to have a conflict with my neighbor. Fade. I'm running. Cause we're gonna be out here. We gonna have. We gonna have about so much land. That's why I always get a cold de sac and just beat up everybody in the cold de sac. <laughs> <laughs> I own all this. So you just beating people up and then walking around and going, my germs. <laughs> On their house. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Just wait. Just wait. Okay. Beat them up. Police gonna bag me up too because I'm gonna have the rules. I got a permit. Okay. Um, so, also, I had thought about this little scenario with that. So, okay, everybody has, guys have the bro code, girls have the girl code or whatever. So, say for instance, you as a person, you as your own individual person are saying, look, hey man. Whatever it is, I ain't saying that. If I see your girl getting neck down in the club, I ain't saying shit because that's just like, hey, I'm staying out of everything. I am not getting in nobody business or whatever. So that's what you, that's you, Trey. That's your personal motto. Like, that's how you feel as a person. But then you have the bro code and you see this happen. So now what takes precedent, the bro code or your own values? Is it, let me ask you this, is this the bros? Let's go, yes, scenario, this is the bros. So this is one of the bros, you see one of the bros, girl bagging that thing up. Throwing it back. down, nigga throat. Like you see this happening with your own eyes, okay. but you have already pre- you have previously said to the bro, "Hey man, keep me out of all y'all shit. I ain't gonna be coming back to y'all telling y'all I saw he said she said shit." See, no, 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 no. See, that because see, I'm gonna have hard evidence for the bros. That's why it's the bro code. These the bros. This is what I seen, bros. So, now, if it's just a rando. But what I'm saying is, is that, like, this isn't, like, well before. Like, say if it's just y'all getting a group mess with each other, and you say, hey, guys, just to let you know, uh, I ain't one of them. Oh, if, um, you know, he said, she said, oh, man, I saw your girl up in the club with another nigga type of if look, if it's trouble at y'all house, y'all gotta handle that shit. I ain't, I ain't the snitch. I ain't coming back and saying I saw anybody about anything because I don't want my name getting brought up in the middle of y'all business. So, with that being said, you have told them this. Then, that six months later, that happens. That happens. So, well, see, with you announcing your personal preference, or your values, or how you feel about getting in other people's business, mm-hmm. what takes precedent? But see, I'm not going to say that to the bros. Because see, the bros, we're the bros. So I'm not going to get in a group chat and say, hey, whatever y'all got going on, that's on y'all. If y'all ain't like cheating, I ain't going to tell you because they ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, I'm going to have to because that's the bros. Now, like I said, random dude, I don't know what to tell you, bitch, dog. Like, it, the dude was, the, the, it, I mean, back to the scenario of the dude parking in front of my house and being mean to me. Like, But the, the neighbor the, ain't your, the neighbor ain't one of your bros. The neighbor just neighbor guy. Oh, no, I'm doing that to cause conflict. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing that to cause conflict. Like, because, see, I live across the street from y'all. So, if y'all, if I, if. If it's two in the morning and I hear somebody come out of the house, you big little 
Everybody else the Jew. Real water right there. Hold on, granddaddy. Hold on. It's probably booty. <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with y'all. They, they granddaddy boy. <laughs> the old granddad. Nah. I don't, I don't want. I don't want that for y'all. I do not want this for y'all. It ain't a good look. It hurt. But yeah. Even with it being a little water down, it's still. It's still Granddad is still going to hit you with that cane at least. He going to trip you or something. But yeah. Now that's just, that's calling conflict. I'm just, now I'm just being chaotic. Okay. I'm just all chaotic energy at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like I need, I want, I want to hear. But. Two o'clock in the morning. I'm going to let the window. You to you and I'm be cackling in my living room. That happened before, by the way. Like yeah, not not funny. like me telling on on somebody, but like <laughs> we was sitting in the house one day and we heard yeah, we heard coming you through the big window. little bastard you and we had to let the window. <laughs> Yeah, the window was already up, but then that we, we had to get up we, off of the couch and go and to listen. the window. To hear what was in, in our it. first little apartment. Mm -hmm. That was nice. It was. That was a nice. Well, it wasn't a nice apartment, but <laughs> it, uh, it was okay. It was all right. It got the job done. It, I don't think. I don't think too many people are out here bragging about their first one. But yeah, my first apartment was, you know, this little condo. On the Upper East Side. On the Upper East Side? Yeah, just a little 2,000 square foot condo. God beat you up, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Run the fade, But, well, but yeah, um, what about you, ma'am? <clears throat> uh, I, I feel the same way. I would, first of all, I would never tell my friend girls, my Chaos. girlfriends or whatever that Hey girl, if I see your nigga out here in these streets, I don't don't come looking to me and ask me. No, I think as females, it's kind of like inherently embedded in us to be like, you know, it, it's kind of one of them understood, like unspoken, understood thing. Like, you see my man, I see your. Snap, 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 for evidence. Then, depending on how close y'all are, she got the right to go approach. Does she have a right to fight? I mean, she can fight. Yeah, she can fight if she wants to, but um, not every friend girl has the approach clearance. Meaning, every girl, every friend girl can't walk up to your man and be like, mm. I see you or whatever, because see, nah, mm -mm, I don't. Every female ain't, ain't got your best interest at heart, but uh, like besties and like day ones, you if y'all got some years under y'all belt, and these are people that went through some things together, yeah, then yeah, you yeah, like pretty much all the women that I associate myself with got clearance to come approach you if they see you out there in the streets and be like, oh, so this what we doing? This what we doing with Aaron and Jackson at home? This what we doing? <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. All right. FaceTime. Do -do 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 -do. Mm -hmm. Tell them. Show them. Show them this. <laughs> Show them whatever this is. <laughs> What? Nah. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, bro. Like, <sighs> life is a thing that we all go through out here in these streets. Uh, now, I guess, like I said, I'm I'm not a I'm not an argumentative person. No. I don't do conflict or nothing like that. Now, I like to see conflict. I like. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see conflict. I don't like to cause conflict. It's not it, only it, if you mean to me. And I'm well. I'm not gonna even say that. I don't think people are. It's people out here that are literally just chaotic energy, and they love to get up every day and argue, or fuss and fight about something. And that's just completely 
that just baffles me because I'm like, that takes too much time. And I think it's because of my ADHD brain. And I don't know about y'all, but my brain brings up scenarios that happened extremely long time ago. I mean, high school, middle school, even even further back in my childhood. Mine do too. Um, and just replays them to me to show me, hey, remember when you did this? Yeah, that was quite embarrassing. Yeah, remember that? Why don't you just relive that shit just right now? Right down. down. Um, <laughs> let's go to the board and let's watch it together. And then, or you be like, or if your brain does bring it to you, you try to like change it, meaning like you try to be like, yeah, but if I would have did this instead, or if I would have said this to them when they did that, or if I would just went on ahead and hit, hit them right there, but you didn't, so I do. here's what really happened. And so I do do that. I do that. I do that. Like I do that whole thing. Like what if I if I could have just hit if him. I would have just said this if right here, if I would have just, just hit him like right then, like, boom, and then like, and I then remember. they would have did this move right here, but then I would have ducked and then came back up and. I mean, like, nigga, you was not Jackie Chan, so. You ain't none of that shit. You ain't none of that shit. You, you do not got hands like talk about. Exactly. But my brain, like, I don't want to fuss and fight and argue like that because my brain had been and brought that. See, if it happened now, then my brain is going to be bringing it up to me when I'm, like, 50 or 60, something like, hey, remember that fight you got in the end? Like thirty years ago, you had no technique. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brain. You had no technique. You didn't. Yeah. You wasn't on your bicycle. You didn't slip. You got hit. So that's you, you suck. And I'm that's just why like, I'm like, Mm-mm. like, see, good memories don't get replayed in my head. That pisses me off because I like to have good memories. I want to be mm-hmm. on TikTok with the people that be like with them flashbacks hit you and then be sitting there like, mm-hmm. Yeah, but my brain don't do that. My brain bring up all the embarrassing, <laughs> negative, all of that shit. Remember this? Remember that time? Remember that time you tried to dunk in gym and you missed and tore your ass? Yep, I remember. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Prince Pepper's Farm remembers. <laughs> shit like that. You remember that time you dropped your plate in the cafeteria? You got mad, you just walked off and were hungry for like the next couple of hours? <laughs> that was a real thing. <laughs> Broke, no, broke my hand in gym. Broke my hand in gym. My right, my right hand, my right. I think. You remember that time your heel got caught coming off the bleachers because you just had to wear heels every day to uh, to high school, and then your heel got caught coming out the bleachers, and you didn't want to ask for help because you didn't want nobody to, like, uh, make fun of you, so you just fell. We went to the same high school together. I'm not saying I was there and then I saw it. He wasn't there. He didn't see it. But, yeah, I did have Pepper Strong was there. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I was like, like, I didn't want to get embarrassed by asking somebody to help me because my heel got stuck. So, I just... And, I'm, and when I say bleaches, it's when they were pushed in. So not Why would, did you, just you climbed up there? Yeah. Why? Cause then I could put my stuff up there. Shot. I could put my bag and stuff up there. And I don't know why I was stupid enough to put the heels on when I was sitting up there versus putting them on in the bottom. So I put the heels on, started climbing down, it got stuck, and I saw people like they were it was people close by. But I was like, they gonna make fun of me. And they gonna go to other classes and talk about me, so like I'm literally just <laughs> like, I'm literally in my head like Damn. climbing down like thinking about I this. this. I'm like they gonna make fun of me. Fuck it out. <laughs> just let go and fail. Let go and fail. Twisting my ankle. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's irrational. That like. So a you, lot of other so, people. So you know how hard the bleachers are, right? Those bleachers were. You know how hard they were, like the plastic part? You know how yeah. hard they were. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Um, ninth grade, I got 
pants. Dude, pull my pants down. Yeah, dude, pull my pants down, man. Like, just, I'm talking, like, down to my ankles down. Like, like your booty was out? Not my booty was out. Okay. Because y'all would have heard about all that, like. Mm-hmm. That, down to your drawers. My drawers was out. You know what I'm saying? You, y'all you would have heard about that forever. Because you know what I'm saying? Never mind. We're not going to talk about that. I never that. heard about that. Yeah, because but the, the front part wasn't exposed. But anyway, <laughs> but at the but front. yeah, I was. They I it. wasn't in high school yet. You said you sure was not. Was, was not great. Yeah, yeah. So I decided because this dude pants me. I was like, I can, I can do this. I can take him out. I, I know I can. He t- he was like, dude had to be about six six. Keep in mind, I'm probably like at that time five four. But I got the advantage because number one, he's skinny. His arms are long, but I'm already here. Low center of gravity. Low center of gravity. Any punch he throw is gonna be wide. I'm right there. I can just use this and just knock him smooth off his feet. And then I'm gonna be a legend forever. Mm-hmm. So, but then I remember my mama told me if I get suspended, she was gonna beat me every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I didn't do that. Okay. I didn't do the original plan because the original plan was one punch, legend, instant legend forever. So that's how you thought it was going to play out if it, you would have got to fight? It was, and I'm going to tell you how I know it was. Okay. I'm going to tell you how I know it was. Mm-hmm. And, I, and back to the bleachers. You remember how hard them bleachers was? Mm-hmm. You remember that? Mm-hmm. I cracked it. Like, cracked it almost all the way through. Downside to that, though. My hand could handle that type of power. So, yeah, I shattered. I shattered this. No, I didn't shatter. I broke it. But it, it, it like a clean break. Broke this. Broke this bone here. Whatever this one is connected to the pinky. Didn't realize it until after I got out of the gym. Mm. Uh, I go to my next class. My hand is like this big. <laughs> I got six hands on one arm. So... <laughs> And I was like, I'm okay, I'm, I'm cool. Like, you know, it don't hurt. It didn't hurt. It, like, it didn't hurt. It was just swollen. I was like, okay. That's yeah, all right. I tried to write, and my pinky finger wouldn't do nothing. So, go to the doctor. They do the x ray. Snapped. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't get beat, though. I didn't get beat at all. I didn't get suspended. I did have to go back to school the next day. And people were like, man, what happened? I was like, bro, get out my bed, bro. I mean, I was embarrassed. And my brain still plays that over and over again on loop sometimes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you remember when you did that stupid ass shit? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I wasn't proud of that. But to let you know, I had some power. Mm-hmm. I, had, I, I mean, I got some power. But then. So that's oh. why. Yeah, that, that that's why I can't. Like, I can't do the, like, the fighting and the arguing and the fussing and cussing and stuff. My brain been to pull that shit up 30 years from now. Don't let you lose the fight, neither. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this your brain. My brain is my worst enemy. <laughs> Look, this your brain. So, you remember when you got your ass beat? <laughs> that would be my brain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, also going back to the original topic, guys. Sorry for that little detour. We detour hard. Um, some people out here would be upset with you because you told it. For you trying to do what you think is right. Like, I'm a. There are some people out here that really don't want to know. They will be. They would rather be. You know, rather be in the dark. They would be cool with being in the dark about it versus um, versus knowing. My only thing with knowing is that if somebody going to come tell me I need, like you said, I need evidence. I need concrete evidence. Mm. You can't just take people's word for shit no more. No Real more. Dude. Somebody got, you know, there's, you don't know if people really, depending on who it is, but you don't know if people really like looking out for you. Mm. Some people are trying to sabotage you. Now he good. No, I was trying to check. Mm. I'm sorry, I'll be looking over there. I'll be trying to check on my baby. 
Uh, but yeah, some people be trying to sabotage you or your relationship, or especially like if you if it's portrayed to be a good relationship. So some people could be out here just to be like, "Fuck it, I ain't happy. Y'all ain't finna be happy neither." Gang members unite. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children and babies of all ages, it's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed. It's your favorite tired parents signing off out here in these streets. Y'all know what to do. Like it. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on the TikTok. We out here. We love y'all. We love all y'all. But before I go, what the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> This is my life. Mm. Bye, y'all. Bye. Because I'm not going to do this with her. I'm not. I refuse to. I refuse to do this with her.